guitar shit. True story. I am a bus drive mystical band. Straight up. When I was younger, I predicted by hearing Busta Rhymes music and Mystical's music that the two of them were going to get together. And in his 1998 release, Extinction Level event, they did that. As well as Mystical's unpredictable release in 1997. Oh, was it 98? Did that take my 98? Oh, anyway. They came in together, this was on No Limit, Bust Rhymes was on Electra. And the only difference between my prediction and what really happened was I said that Mystical, Bust Rhymes, and Old Dirty Bastard were going to come out with an album together. Although that never happened, and probably that, you know what happened with the beat ODB. These cats have came together to tell me what? By signing to Baby's Cash Money Records. I have mixed feelings about this. Reason being is because, well, Mystical, not so much as Bust Rhymes. Mystical, Cash Money is a New Orleans based label. Mystical is a New Orleans, New Orleans label. Not saying that you should stick with your own, but I feel like Mystical would feel more comfortable with that lifestyle as far as you know, the way they you know they are. But Bust Rhymes, his caliber of his experience alone is kind of like, how can I say, um, if Jordan came back to play for the NBA and he wasn't in the starting lineup. That's how I look at it. You know what I'm saying? If Jordan came back and he was on the bench. You know what I'm saying? That's how I look. You know, instead of Jordan owning the team, he's on the bench. You know what I mean? Not only is he back playing, he's on the bench. You got to think about that. Think about that for a second. All right. Now, let's kind of go back. Mystical's in jail. Locked up. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what happened with his deal with Job. I don't even know if he still has a deal with Job or not. Which if they dropped him because he was in jail, shame on them. I'm going to look that up and find that out. Um, Buster Rhymes. Honestly, he went from Electra to um, to J Records to... He signed with Aftermath, but I don't think they dropped him again. I'm not sure. Um, which I don't understand, Dr. Dre. Why would you sign somebody and not drop him, nigga? You know what I'm saying? That's the only thing that pisses me off about Dr. Dre. You got all these talented artists, and you fucking, I mean, I know Eminem was the priority, 50 Cent's priority, but these cats is on their own doing their own things. I'm mean, pretty sure they only come to you when they need beats, and when their product's done. You know what I'm saying? Now Eminem's like the number one white rapper. He's actually rapping about some straight up white shit now, 50 Cent. You know, I don't know what the fuck's going through Big mind right now. But, um, anyway, we have Buster Rhymes, and from there, Buster Rhymes should have been a boss. All those people that got hired for Def Jam president, Buster Rhymes should have at least have been a goddamn COO or something. You know, all those, I mean, I'm thinking Buster Rhymes should be up there with Jay-Z right now. He should be up there with Jay-Z, Snoop Dogg, all them cats. You know what I'm saying? Buster Rhymes, I mean, hell, he commands, look, 30 grand a show. You know what I'm saying? And Buster Rhymes is one of the few rappers that if you hire him for a show, you're going to get a show. You're not getting four songs and thank you very much. Nah, you're getting out music from the coming. You're getting when disaster strikes back. You're getting um extinction level event. You're getting um fucking the um Genesis. You're getting uh, all the albums, you're getting joints, all the joints. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you getting all the, you more than likely you're going to hear your favorite song on the Buster Rhymes show. You know what I'm saying? So, why are we even arguing the fact that he needs to sign with cash money? Not taking nothing away from Baby. Baby, yeah, baby, you a good businessman. Either that, or you got the good, or you just a good hustler. I don't know. But, you know, all I know is that Cash Money, I wasn't so much of a fan of Cash Money at first. And I'm going to tell you who got me. Everybody was talking about when I became a Cash Money fan. I heard 
Bank that ass up. Nah. The first cash money album I bought was BG, Chopper City in the Ghetto. And the first song I ever heard happened to be Little Have Little Wayne on it. Niggas in Trouble. That shit went hard. I said, wait a minute. No Limit ain't making shit like this no more. Yeah, this is like in 99 when No Limit was kind of falling off right before Snoop Dogg left. You know, when Master P started, you know, showing his true colors and shit. But, um, real talk though. Um, it was like, you know, then I started paying attention. I didn't even like High. I thought High was the worst rap song ever. But I said, wait a minute, these cats might be on or something. And honestly, I bought up until, uh, I'd say Juvenile's um, Project English album. I bought every cash money album from um, Chopper City in the Ghetto all the way up until that Project English just for the intro. Because Baby and Manny Fresh used to go hard together. That's who you need to be trying to fucking bring back to your team. Fucking Manny. Manny Fresh, man, come on, man. Why would you let something golden like that go? You know what I'm saying? Look at all the footage on YouTube with Mystical and Manny Fresh. Listening to them beats and mystical going over them beats. Mystical would go fucking stupid on the motherfucking Manny Fresh. Mystical and Manny Fresh is like Buster Rhymes and JD. Think about it. And if I'm lying, post it right here so I can cuss you the fuck out. Real talk. I know y'all probably didn't get getting hype over that shit. Real talk. Think about it. Manny Fresh is Oregon and Mystical. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Ooh, this nigga. Man, I just want to go to it right now. Listen to that shit right now. That shit's so hard. Man, I'm just passionate about the shit because I feel like, man, this, if Miss, if, and you know, baby, I watched a little thing with um, Benny Fresh talking about he did a song with Lil Wayne and he supposed to get some kind of deal with Def Jam. And then Baby and them said, no, he couldn't use it because Lil Wayne was on it. Man, don't be on that whole shit with this shit, album, man. But this mystical album, man, cause for real, that's bad business, homie. A good song is a good song, you know what I'm saying? And you know, man, for real, cause I'll be done. I'm, I'm type of nigga, I'll be done with a level just because of that dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? When Death Row started acting up, I stopped fucking with Death Row. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying I, I got the power of God or something, but it seems like whenever I stop fucking with a level, everybody stops fucking with a level. Not saying I got God in me, but. I think, you know, my taste is pretty much at least 70% of America's taste, so, and I like everything, so, not everything, I mean, stuff starts sucking up a while, but Buster Rhymes, like I said, he should be God MC, he's God MC anyway, you know what I mean, this is the the native tongues, man, that's like late 90s, early 80s, or late 80s, early 90s shit, come on, man, this nigga has toured with Tribe Called Quest, they lost soul. He's working with Janet Jackson. I don't see Lil Wayne working with Janet Jackson, nigga. Fuck out of here, man. Buster Mom has done a song, a song with Ozzy Osbourne. He took Ozzy Osbourne's song, redid it, and had Ozzy Osbourne sing Buster Mom custom hook on it. What do you go after that? What do you what, what do you do after that? You know what I'm saying? He, this nigga had Dr. Dre in the um, one video, Break Your Neck, acting goofy. Buster Rhymes. He's a, he, he's one of them MCs that you just gotta respect. My next one is gonna be on E-40, because I feel like E-40 and Buster Rhymes definitely have something in common. And you know what? They have a song together too. But you didn't know that, huh? Look it up. Google it. Bust Rhymes E40. Do it to me, baby. Do it to me. Yeah. But anyway. Bust to get your money, man. You know, I'm not really going to knock you for signing the cash money. I'm pretty sure Baby had to pay for it. This wasn't on this little bullshit deal. I'm pretty sure you got some nice shit. You got your nice whip. And some, some of that heavy truck jewelry and... You know, I'm pretty sure you got some shit off of that deal because, homie, like I said, homie, Jordan ain't gonna come back with you sit on the bench for anybody or any amount of money. It's gonna have to be some big money. So I'm pretty sure Baby had to go talk to his accountant about this one. So get your money, bus. Mr. Cool, get your money. I'm glad you out, player, you know what I'm saying? Because the reason you went in with some bullshit anyway. And 
Welcome home, Buff. Keep pumping out them hits, man. And I'll keep supporting you. Mr. 2000, subscribe. Check out my Tumblr page. Twitter me. Much love to all the people that have been adding me on Twitter and everything. I got mad love for y'all. And to everybody that responded on the J. Cole Cannabis Beef, much love. Big up to Phil No BDP for responding to that. Big up to Janelle Monet, Bad Boy Artist. She didn't respond on that, but she actually showed me love on one of my subjects on my Facebook page. So, big up to her for that. Y'all make sure y'all go out and support all those artists. And I'm gone, man. Peace out. Let's go!